Okay, we're going to take a tosylate. So we've got a secondary tosylate, and according to the reaction, we're adding sodium bromide. So this looks like an SN2 reaction where we're going to displace the tosylate, the leaving group, with the nucleophile, the bromide ion. So we can start by first copying this structure. I'm going to click on the structure here, open that up, and copy. Boop. And now what I would like to do is, first of all, because this is SN2 chemistry, I'm going to get inversion of chemistry. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, let's see, we want inversion of stereochemistry, so we can get our little squiggly arrow here. Come on. Oh. Boop. So that's going to go from away from us to toward us, and instead of a tosylate, we will now have a bromine. Now when you first submit this, it's going to tell you that it's partially correct, and the reason for this is that because we have an excess of bromide, this bromine can actually get displaced by another bromine. So to infer that we could actually have either stereochemistry possible, we're going to go up here and get the squiggly line that means single up or down, and that's what we'll put in here. And this is the stereochemistry that they're looking for in this situation because one bromine can displace another bromine, you actually have either possibility.